Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Selly from Navtronics. How are we doing today? What are we talking about today? We are talking about digital switching. Uh, most new boats out there, anything from about 23 feet and up, probably offer it at least as an option to have some form of digital switching. What is it? What does it do? Why do you want it? Why do you pay for it? Why, what, what's it worth, right? On a smaller boat, it frees up your dash space, so you don't have to have that long row of, you know, a dozen switches for things. On your bigger boats, your 36, your 40, your 42, 50 foot boats, I've gotten on some of these, and there's two dozen plus switches on there, and you're trying to find a bilge pump or a live well switch, and you're sitting there trying to read, and you're driving the boat. It sucks. This takes it and brings it onto your MFD screen. Uh, now, why do you want to give up some space in your MFD screen? Well, because now you can fit a bigger screen because you've got less switches and you can group them into pumps or lights or different subset categories. So you can quickly find what it is you're looking for on board the boat and turn things on and off. And you can also get a smart warning. So like when the bilge pump kicks on, it'll tell you, hey, not only is it on, but I've kicked on 10 times in the last, you know, 24 hours. So it can do a lot of different things. It can also save your battery by going, hey, battery's running low. This is an emission critical item for things like lighting, and it will turn the power off to the lighting. So it'll save you from running down your battery. So there's a lot of great features baked into it. Now, when we talk digital switching, most people think C-Zone. They're kind of the, the Kleenex or the Xerox of the digital switching world. They've been doing it for a long time. It's a great system. You can buy the modules, build it and expand it, retrofit it. It's a very good system. If you've seen any of our YouTube channel, uh, going back a little ways, Sundays with Sally and some of our other stuff, you've seen that we have also done Empire Bus. That is a company that Garmin has purchased and it works exclusively in the Garmin world. And it does digital switching and does all the same stuff that you can do with C-Zone, as well as doing climate control and a bunch of other stuff. Um, they've also got Carling Technologies. I think theirs is called Empower. I'm hoping to do some stuff with them here pretty soon, test it out and see how theirs works as well. Um, but again, you're freeing up space on your dash. You're making it simpler to use. And you can do some simple, you know, if this, then that type of scenarios where you can't have the anchor light on. If you have the nav light on, you can't have the nav light with the anchor light on. You can, you know, set up different kinds of things. You can set it up so that, you know, uh, fish box pumps don't run at both the same time to drain down the battery. Uh, let's just say the water tank runs down low and it's below 5% water. You can have it not pump turn on the water pump for fresh water pump so you don't burn your pump out, you know, running your water tank dry. Um, so there's a lot of, lot of options there and a lot of stuff built in across the board for all these digital switchings. So it's a really worthwhile investment if you're looking to buy a new boat, that's where it's going. Uh, just a quick word of advice if you are doing digital switching, I'm still a massive, massive, massive proponent of making sure you still have key switches at the helm. What do I mean by key switches? I mean, I want to be able to hit a horn instantly. I don't want to be cycling through a screen. I still want to switch to be able to turn my nav lights on and off. And I still want to be able to turn my bilge pumps on and off. Those I would consider my tactical switches. Those are my quick ones I want to be able to go to even if the screen isn't on. Um, and in all of these systems, you can have those buttons tied in with the digital switching. It's just a, it's a simple breakout. So we've done the very clean glass look, but Personally, from a safety standpoint, I like having those buttons there. It's just a little bit of peace of mind. You can quick grab at it, especially for the horn, right? You want to be able to hit that button when the guy's cutting you off or whatever. So, that's it. It's digital switching. Um, and kind of a nutshell of why you might want to be considering it. You want to know more about it? Give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, at Navtronics. We got all the cool latest uh, marine tech trends, technology, gadgets, all that good stuff. It's always there. We're always updating it, trying to keep you guys better informed boaters. So check it out. Give us a subscribe and a like. Peace.